Hello, this is part one in a, a two video series on downloading data from Bloomberg and using that data in Microsoft Excel. Um, what you're looking at here is a slide from class. These are the, the five regression models we walked through. The first was the PE ratio as a function of growth, dividend payout ratio, and beta. So PE would be my Y factor and growth, dividend, and beta would be my X. The second was price to sales with growth, dividend payout, beta, and profit margin. And then the number three, four, and five are all price to book models. Um, the first is including return on equity. The second breaks return on equity out into three factors. And then the last breaks return on equity out into five factors. So let's go ahead and we'll open up Bloomberg and we'll begin by downloading the data we need for the PE regression, which will be PE ratio, growth, dividend payout, and beta. So in Bloomberg, you want to call up your company. Um, in this case, I'm going to look up DuPont. And underneath securities, I'll find the trading symbol for my company, DuPont DD. I can select it. And now the tab I want to run off of is Bloomberg code RV. Um, and it's titled Comparables Analysis. And we're going to build custom screens here. Um, so the overview screen, competitive sheets, Bloomberg has a few pre-built models. Just come over to the custom tab and this is where we can build out the model we'd like. I don't need ticker or market cap, so I'm going to right click and delete that column. Same thing, market cap, don't need it, I'll go ahead and delete. So add a column, here we go. I need the PE ratio. I start typing and Bloomberg will try to auto-complete what I'm typing. All right, I'll go ahead and click on the PE ratio and I'll take current. Whenever available, I, I always select the current and we can see that loads in. Next up, uh, let's go ahead and grab the dividend payout ratio. Okay. Uh, there's no current here, so I'll default to latest filing. Next up is beta. And how do we want the regression run? Let's do a one year beta regression. And lastly is the growth rate. In Bloomberg, it's the long term growth. That's what LTG stands for. BEST is Bloomberg's estimate based on various input from analysts. Bloomberg's estimate for long term growth of earnings. All right, and what we'll use is current year. Okay, um, so now I have my Y variable and I also have my three X variables. A few things I'm gonna pull in just to kind of polish off the regression in the end will be last price. And I'll also pull in, since we're running the PE multiple here, price to earnings multiple, it would be nice to have earnings. So I'll pull in earnings per share, EPS. And I will use the trailing 12. Okay, now I have all the data I need. Before I take this data and move it into Excel, I want to save this screen. That way, the next time I log into Bloomberg, I can pull this screen up pretty quickly. And so I'll click on Save As. And I'll name this screen PE REG for PE regression. And I hit Save. It uh, looks like I already had a file out there. I'll overwrite it. OK. And what you can see now, all these tabs up top are Bloomberg's pre-built screens. Now I have a PE regression tab. So when I log in the next time, I can come to the RV screen and click right on this tab to get all these columns the way I want them to appear. All right. I'll go ahead and output to Excel. And this is going to take all the data on my screen, load it into Excel for me. And there we go. Uh, you can see there's codes here. Bloomberg's trying to retrieve the data. And as always, in order to use this data at home, we need to remove all the codes. So if I highlight the entire spreadsheet, copy, paste special, values. Okay, it doesn't look any different, but now all the codes that were behind these numbers are all gone. Let's just jump right down to uh, maybe the most difficult one that has the most variables. Price to book. Um, 
as a function of eight different variables. So let's go ahead and load that in and we'll make a new screen now. So we don't need PE ratio, let's get rid of it. Dividend payout, beta, and growth, well those are three things we need. Last price we need. Um, we used earnings per share when we ran the PE regression, so with the price to book we don't need this. All right, let's go ahead and create a template. Oh, looks like Bloomberg will not allow you to save and work off the previous. So let's go ahead and start fresh. So price to book. Is a function of long term growth, current year, dividend payout ratio, latest year, beta, one year. And now the new factors here are going to be things like tax burden, oh, tax burden, and I will use latest filing. Okay, we have our tax burden. Uh, let's do interest burden. Latest filing. Operating margins, latest filing, um, what else? Asset turnover, latest filing, and then lastly, leverage, which Bloomberg calls financial leverage, latest filing. All right, so we have lots of data loaded in. Um, a couple things I'll pull in again. I'll pull in last price, and I also want to pull in book value for share. And then book value per share, just like we pulled in earnings per share when we did the PE ratio. Uh, if I was doing a price to sales ratio regression, I would pull in uh, sales per share or revenue per share. Uh, if I was doing a price to EBITDA regression, I would pull in EBITDA per share. Uh, okay, so I'll go ahead and save as, and this will be my PB decomp regression. Okay, and there we go. And so now I can toggle between my two models that I've created. And let's go ahead and output this into Excel. All there we go. And now I have all my data lined up to do a price to book decomposition. Okay, this concludes part one for accessing the data through Bloomberg. And in the second video, you'll see how to run those various regressions. Thank you.